thought I'd do a quick video on my top five most worn items of 2019. That rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? I thought I'd take you through five garments that have been absolute heroes for me uh, last year that I always reach to and um, some reasons why I think they're just the best things that I've made recently. Okay, let's kick off with number one. This dress. So handy that it's right next to me. This is my Elisa Lex uh, uh, bodice and Vogue 9000 hack. I um, made it maybe springtime last year and um, it's such a beautiful timeless silhouette with that kind of flared skirt but not too flared and um, beautiful romantic floral. This is the Lisa Comfort Wildflower Crepe in black and turquoise that I got from Fabricate and it's been yeah such a great little wardrobe staple because it's like able to be dressed down with sandals or dressed up with heels and um, I wear it to work, I took it on holiday with me. I'll pop a photo so you can see me modelling the dress but I've made both patterns quite a lot. The Vogue 9000 you're probably thinking hey it doesn't look anything like that but I merged the panel skirt pieces together so I could create one front, bod uh, one front skirt and one back skirt and it was the best thing I ever did because I use that skirt all the time. So yeah, an absolute gorgeous staple and um, probably still going to be worn all this year as well. Number two, this one, haha, <laughs> I've tricked you. Yeah, this dress is um, my scuba hack of M6886, which is like a long shift dress, jersey shift dress pattern, plus the Lena wrap dress skirt, um, which is a simple sew pattern. And I, I decided to merge the McCall's and the Simple Sew together to create my dream scuba dress. I wanted something that was warm but still bright and happy because I am like a lizard lady who gets cold all the time. So this dress is worn all year round because I'm pretty much always cold. The fabric's from Minerva Crafts and as soon as I saw it, I had to have it because it's so beautiful and painterly and it's got all those amazing colours in so I can wear red or pink or chartreuse with it, even black. So I feel like it's just a perfect all year round garment. Um, you can find out more details on my blog and I'm popping a photo to the side of me so you can see it in detail. But yeah, I think you can tell how much I absolutely adore this dress. I actually wore it for my engagement photo shoot. I've worn it, um, there's a photo of me when I finally emerged after the most horrific chest infection. My husband dragged me out for a nice day trip and I wore this in the fresh air and I felt healthy or almost healthy again. And that was wonderful. So a winner. <laughs> Number three, <gasps> my birthday dress. So this is um, a dress I needed because I was going for a huge afternoon tea and I needed something quite boxy so I could fit it all in. So I made myself a new birthday dress, which I know a lot of people like to do. It's something fun to sort of celebrate your own birthday if you're not really big into birthdays. It gives you something special to do. Um, so I made this, which is my self-drafted pattern. Um, it's a very boxy fit, wrap bodice. Um, with no darts or shaping but it does have a zip up back um, and all of the edges are finished with bias binding you can see it's got grown on sleeves and then a very easy boxy gathered skirt so it was fun to sort of draft this and then make it and figure out the construction order um, I don't do a lot of pattern drafting just because I never usually have time but it's something I want to get back into um, I've drafted a few patterns which you'll be able to see on my blog but this one has been wonderful. I'll put a picture of me dancing around in the garden to the side. Um, I wear it to work. I wear it for fun. It's great with really big giant earrings. It's great with woolly tights and a cardigan. This fabric is almost like confetti. It's called gemstones, I believe, or scattered gemstones, something like that. It's a Dashwood Studio rayon. Um, the only problem with it is that it snagged so easily, it snagged on the first wash, it snagged as I was cutting it out and I mean I use 
per like really fine needles. I always use Sharp Rotary Cutter. It's just snagalicious, even though it's so beautiful. And I have a bit more of these prints, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind with whatever I make. But yes, the birthday dress. So pleased with it, and no, it'll still get a lot of wear yet until it's so snagged that I'll probably cry and still hold on to it longer than I should do. Number four! It's time to share the dress you've probably seen a thousand times. It's my So Over It vintage shirt dress, one of many, because people who follow my blog or my Instagram account will know I've made eight of these, something like that. It's my favourite dress pattern because it's flattering, timeless, it skims over the body in a really beautiful way. Lisa and her team have made the perfect fit with these lovely pleats at the bust and the waist and a shirt dress I think just suits everybody. I like the notch collar vari uh, variation because that really flatters me because I've not got a very big bust um, and it like, keeps you all open and lovely. And this fabric was an amazing um, from, <laughs> an amazing find from the man outside Sainsbury's, which you may have heard mentioned on Karen of Did You Make That's blog. He is a man with a stall outside Sainsbury's. How clever, but it's actually in Walthamstow Market and he gets amazing X designer fabrics. And a few of us bought this and we're pretty certain it's X Hobbs fabric um, because we Googled it and found a picture identical. Um, you can see a picture of me wearing this dress in Paris, which was so much fun because it was, yeah, floaty for the hot weather and still like quite covered up. And yeah, it, went with, it was like I created a travel collection of pinks and reds so everything went together and this fit in perfectly. So yes, a great staple pattern. I highly recommend it. Number five. Okay. So before you think that I only make dresses, which granted I do make a lot of dresses, but there is a breakout star in this roundup, my lovely little cat tee, which has been an actual revelation for me because I never wear t-shirts. And on a whim, I decided maybe it's because I need a classic Breton. And then I thought maybe that classic Breton needs a cat on it. So I use uh, M7322 which is a McCall's t-shirt pattern that came with the Ma Light Love Sewing magazine ages ago. And I must have made three or four as pajama tops before I actually decided I'd make one that I'd wear outside the house. So this is the one that it was. And um, I mean, I just love skill boosting. So I thought, how can I boost some skills even with a jersey top? And it'd been a while since I'd practiced my stripe matching so you can see I managed to match my stripes across the armhole and then they sort of match down the body. They match up the side seams. It's um, got its cute little pocket all stripe matched as well. And then the cat applique patch, um, iron on patch actually, that didn't have to sew it in the end, um, peeking out of the pocket. So it's all overlocked. It's this beautiful heavyweight ponte that I got from Abacan Fabrics. And surprisingly, I think it's because it's almost like a jumper. It's kind of heavier with that ponte. I reach for it all the time when I'm in the mood to wear jeans, um, which isn't that often. Uh, it's great to go with jeans and it makes me feel maybe a little bit like chic French. Whichever girl probably wishes they were chic and French, but whatever. I, um, yeah, I really love this tea. I don't know if it's ponte, can you call it a tea? I still think it is. It's just a great little basic top that has become one of my absolute favourites. And people either comment on the little kitten or um, my sewing friends always spot the stripes. So that really makes me smile when it goes down well. So there we go. Thanks for watching. This is a great little video to get me back into the swing of things. You'll notice there's only a couple of other videos on here at the minute. Um, I'm still learning my way, but I can't wait to share more with you and um, hope you like what you see. So subscribe and um, check out the links below if you've seen anything that you'd like to know more about. Bye.